Okay, in this video, we're going to test and show what canceling a sales order does in Fishbowl Desktop 22.9. I've got the sales order screen here open. I've got a sales order that is in the issued status and it's a test file with an anchor base. We've got a hundred feet of it. Let's go cancel this sales order. Say yes, and the status changes to cancel. Simple. Now let's make it a little more complex and pick something. Let's uh, open up this guy. Uh, we've got two power manuals and um, Let's go to picking, make sure we choose something with some quantity, actually. Yeah, let's do this sales order instead. Sales order 17, two of them have been picked, one of them have not been picked. And let's go to shipping to see what the status of this picked item is. Go to shipping for sales order 17. Sales order 17 says it's been shipped. So this is an item where Half of it's been shipped, and half of it has not been shipped. Go to, uh, I'm going to link to the sales order right here, and there is no cancel button, only a close short. If we go to picking and pick that, then go to the sales order screen. Now the close short button is grayed out, and there is no cancel button. So. We cannot cancel a sales order that has been partially shipped. All right, so let's go look at a sales order that none of it has been shipped and just uh, pick it. Pick it, but don't ship it. And then let's look at the cancel feature. So uh, let's, let's find this in the picking screen. We'll go to picking. And let's look at advanced search. It says show has fulfillable. Click OK. And we've got has fulfillable. We've got some started in here, some entered. Uh, we've got a bunch here that has been partially picked. Oh, let's look at this one. This one looks like a good one. Oh, no, that's a work order. Let's filter this out and just look at sales orders that show has something fulfillable. All right, here we go. This is a good one. Sales order number 8795. We've got four green, so it's all pickable. Let's go ahead and um, completely pick this and then link back to the sales order screen and um, shows in progress, okay come up here the cancel button is available so let's say for a minute we printed a pick ticket right if we're using paper pick tickets uh, let's go back here let's void this and just start the pick at this point print a pick ticket sorry I'm jumping around here I want to I want to do a started step too. So let's say we printed a pick ticket. We're trying to um, find potential problems and learn how to avoid them. So now this pick, I'm going to click on the link. The cancel button is still available. And let's click cancel. Say yes. Okay, it says pick not found. I'm guessing that error comes up because it destroyed the pick. Um, we've got it canceled now. Uh, the pick button is grayed out. If we really look for it, 8795. Let's go 8795. And I'm expecting to see nothing. If I go to all, yeah, we've got 8795 no longer exists. So. So this tells me, okay, this could 
potentially result in someone um, mistakenly shipping something, but the packing, the absence of the sales order in the packing screen should have stopped them, right? So yeah, if you're using paper pick tickets instead of Fishbowl Go, you print out a, a pick ticket, they go pick it, then the order is canceled, the packer and the shipping crew should say, hey, where is it in the shipping screen? We shouldn't, you know, if if uh, there's no packing slip, if we can't produce a packing slip, if we can't see that it's in the shipping screen, then that should be an indicator that this order has been canceled and, uh, and don't ship it. Um, so you've, you've got to have policies, procedures in place that check this. If you're using the cancel feature in Fishbowl and you're using paper pick tickets, um, you know, maybe maybe they picked it, maybe they started it, maybe you're, you, you're even using Fishbowl Go. And they went ahead and um, scanned the pick ticket, pulled up Fishbowl Go, picked it. Um, well, let's test that because if you pick it in Fishbowl Go, then that will actually change the started status to a finished status. And we saw, let's see, yeah, let's, let's go through that. Let's go through that. Let's let's finish a pick. Let's go to show has fulfillable. Let's look at this. Uh, here's one. It's just a single unit. That's fine. I don't think it matters if it's a single unit or not in this test. We're going to click finish. So now sales order number 90 is finished. Uh, so the blue check mark, this can happen whether you're in Fishbowl Go or Fishbowl Desktop. Let's just say, you know, we, we finish the pick, right? And we, we click on this link to the sales order right here. I always like using the links because that uh, makes sure that the screen is already refreshed. You don't have to click refresh. All right, so the cancel button is available. Cancel button is available. Um, let's go ahead and click cancel. Are you sure you want to cancel? Yes. So that means it has been picked and it says pick not found. Don't know why that error message is popping up, but that does give me assurance that it did delete the pick. And if we go look for sales order number 90 now in the picking screen, it's not going to be there. Sales order number 90 no longer there and I, I know this is silly but I know some of you are gonna want to see yes of course it's not in the shipping screen so an order advances to the shipping screen only after it's been picked if we remove the pick it's going to take it back off of the shipping screen um, so let's test another theory because um, I I have a, a customer that just said, hey, an order was canceled, but it was erroneously shipped out the door, right? So that's what we're trying to figure out. How does that happen and how to prevent that from happening? Uh, let's look at another order. This pick, let's go to show has fulfillable. Click OK. Let's see what else we got here. OK, we've got another order we can test. Um, let's say we finish this. All right, let's let's pretend we printed the pick ticket. Maybe we use Fishbowl Go. We went through picking, completely picked it. And now it's advanced to shipping even. And let's say we printed a packing list. Now we're now we're getting into territory that could be problematic, right? Let's say we printed a packing list. We slapped a packing list on the pallet or box. We, we wrapped it up. And let's say we're not using ShipStation or ShipExpress. Because um, this client I have right now, uh, they're using freight carriers. They're not using ShipExpress or ShipStation. They're shipping freight. 
So not small parcels, right? Ship Express and Ship Station might solve this problem because they do have features that will close out the pick and record it as being shipped. But let's say um, we pack it. Uh, let's change the status to packed and then link to the sales order. Cancel is still available even with pack. So let's say we printed out the packing slip and we packed it um, uh, for freight for freight and maybe printed out a bill of lading or used the bill of lading from the um, freight broker and here on the sales order boom we can still cancel it at that point click yes pick not found so that tells me that's going to pull it off of the shipping screen it's no longer in the packing status it's no longer in the picking screen like it completely canceled but at this point the shipping guys have a packing slip they probably have a bill of lading and it's ready to go out the door so I know we like software to solve all the problems but it doesn't a software is a tool I tell my kids this is a really good analogy I tell my kids you are the dishwasher right think about this metaphor here a dishwasher is a tool to wash dishes the dishwasher is not responsible for getting the dishes clean it's not responsible for washing the dishes the user of the dishwasher is I tell my kids you're the dishwasher the dishwasher is an awesome tool to help you wash the dishes right so you've got to put the dishes in there properly don't overstack it etc etc you get you get the metaphor fishbowl is a tool and and yet we found a loophole here right but what's the answer the answer is a human process the sales rep needs to communicate with the guys in um, in shipping or packing like if they're going to cancel an order they should be looking at the status of where is this order has it been picked has it been packed oh my gosh if it's been packed then that could be an indicator if you were using fishbowl in this way that could be an indicator that a packing slip has been printed out usually the pack status in fishbowl means it is prepared to go out the door it's all ready to go out the door shipping labels been printed a packing slip has been printed bill of lading has been printed uh, the pallet's been wrapped up the box has been taped like whatever you want to call it it's it's ready to go out the door but it hasn't left the building yet okay so you as a sales rep should be looking at the picking screen at the shipping screen you should have at least a view rights to the picking screen and the shipping screen and you should be looking at this and saying okay wait customer wants to cancel this order I need to communicate with the warehouse um, and uh, say I canceled this order right now let's look at one more thing um, and this this should be obvious at this point uh, pretty sure we finish the pick go to shipping and ship the thing say no thanks um, we go ahead and ship it now it's a ship status we link to the sales order and there is no cancel button all right so we can cancel up to the, the status of it being packed if the pick is started we can cancel If the pick is finished we can cancel if the order is packed we can cancel but we cannot cancel after it's been shipped after it's been shipped you can go to shipping and void it you can void a shipment um, and I don't know if you would use it in this case you know obviously we're looking at canceling an order which means the customer calls and says cancel it I don't want it um, and yes there are some people there's some fishbowl users 
that quote unquote ship it. They record that it's been shipped when it hasn't left the building. I don't think this is the proper way to use Fishbowl, but I understand why some of you may may find benefit in that way. Maybe, you know, high volume um, uh, sales, parcel shipments, you know. Uh, so use the software in the way it will best represent your workflow, but put, put some good thought into it. I hope this video was helpful. Um, in thinking through how the cancel feature can be used and maybe how it should not be used and how you should carefully use it and in what times maybe it's okay to to just cancel and not communicate with the warehouse or in what times uh, you should communicate with the warehouse if you're going to cancel an order. This is I'm Lance with Brando Consulting, uh, Fishbowl Inventory Expert since 2006 like, subscribe, comment below. You know the drill. Uh, I've got a lot more videos like this, and I'm here to help. Hope you have a great experience with Fishbowl.